Hello YouTubers, this is a quick session where uh, we get to show you how you can verify or submit or commit verified commits to GitHub. And you know, I'm joined today by my dear friend Christo to kind of explain to us what is this thing and why is it important and why should I care? Can I just, uh, can't I just commit code into GitHub and you know, impersonate people to call myself Linus Torvalds and it's all good and dandy out there or aren't we all just one person at the end of the day same family or what's what's the deal there <laughs> go ahead crystal <laughs> hi son hey <laughs> yeah. yeah no github has got this nice feature where you can sign your commits um and at the end of the day it's to give people a bit more confidence that the code is actually coming from you as you said you you can you can say that you're somebody or try to impersonate somebody but if you're code is signed then uh, you, you can add no that, one can uh, impersonate you yeah Interesting. um and that can also come into play if if if, if you start to play with your um mm. uh, repository protection rules you can actually say that i only want to accept code from verified people so if you've if you've not got that verification set up then you can't actually commit code to that repo interesting but, but nice in but in terms of what people will see is that nice verified um, icon next next to your name once you've committed to PR. Oh, wait. So you're basically saying, uh, you know, you could add someone as a contributor to a repository and someone could make a commit impersonating just by changing their profile on their local machine, impersonating the email and the alias of this or, or the GitHub username of that person and it will look like the contributor is actually pushing to that repository? Yeah, if somebody creates a profile that's very similar named, um, then you can say, oh, I know this person, but it's actually not the same person. You might accidentally accept a PR to your repo. Oh, man, that's crazy. That's yeah. crazy. So or if, if, if your um, credentials is uh, hacked and, and, and they sign in on a different device, uh -huh. uh, then they can still commit under your name, obviously, as well, but um, it won't be verified code then because they haven't got your um, certificate to sign it. Aha. Uh -huh. So that's why, so that makes sense because that that's why I saw, you know, in the, in the you know, collaboration interactions or somewhere in the um, uh, rules for branches, let's see here, add branch protection rule, and you get to say only verified. I think it's That's yeah, gone, yeah, yeah, verified. There you go. Require signed commits. So this is how you make sure because I know a while back people you could literally call yourself anybody on 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 GitHub. Like you can change the profile from where you're pushing the code, and it doesn't make any difference at all. Which is which is a little scary, but it's also true. It's it's the it's the state of things. Um, just just for people who don't know. What I'm talking about here is that you get if if you have your GitHub bash like this, this is your your Git bash. Let me make this a little cleaner, right? And you can get like you have your profile when you say Git. I think it's is it profile something like that. Uh, Git. Give me a sec. I think it's user something. Uh, Git user information. It's a uh, is it Git config? Right, and then in git config, you do list, right? Git config list, there you go. And then you have, see, there it is. User this, and then name this. Did you see that? So that basically tells you, you know, that, you know, your username, I can change that. I can make this anything I want, and it will look like someone else committing unless you know, someone goes and says, okay, I'm only going to do verified commits. That's when it's actually not going to allow or are going to tell the user that's, that's reading this, oh, actually, the person that's committing this is the verified account that's passing that information. And a while back, just so you guys see how crazy this is, um, a while back, someone was doing this as a joke, you know, get commit as Linus, as Linus Torvalds. Uh, someone... Um, uh, someone committed and pretended to be um, uh, Linus Torvalds, right? Uh, what did he say? Um, uh, that signing every commit is stupid. 
<laughs> uh, let me go to the um i can't really find it but it's somewhere where someone basically decided to uh commit as if they are that there it is this this one right here that's not really him you know uh he basically just went and changed like some other guy changed the name and it really picked up the profile name the picture everything it's very easy to do something like that okay all right so pushing verified commits is super important if you set it up locally you don't have to think about it ever right so if you're pushing that code it, it doesn't really matter. Nobody's gonna, nobody like nobody can impersonate you and push code because even the moderators of the repository can be fooled by the commit that the person is pushing. They think, oh, you know, that's Christo. We know he's doing great. Merge in. Lucky for us, you know, it doesn't matter. Even if I'm the one pushing the code, if it's not standard compliant, we're gonna shut it, shut it down. But this can apply to other repositories and other places as well. Okay, tell me how to do this. Show us all how to do this. I appreciate you for this. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> so on, on GitHub, there's a nice uh, tutorial that people can follow. Mm -hmm. um, so basically what, what you need to do first is you need to open up um, Git Bash. Okay, Git Bash. All right, let's go yeah. open up Git Bash here. Here we go. Okay. And... Um, we want to basically start generating a full key now. So uh, it's GPG space uh, dash dash um, full dash generate dash key. Full generate key like this. That's it. Yeah. And that's it. Yeah. And then it's going to ask you a few questions that that, that we'll need to step through. Um, so basically, you can pick what kind of uh, a key um, certificate you want to generate. So for this one, we can just default to one. Um, I picked the, the higher one, 4096 is the um, number of bits. Okay. Um, this one is up to the users. I, I For my one, I didn't want to go through the hassle of generating keys often, so I might mine zero just not to expire. Um, just confirm that that's what you want. <laughs> uh -huh. um, and, and this... Um, is, is, is your real name as you use it on GitHub because it's going to validate that. So, and uh, the email address that you use with, with GitHub and just enter on that one or you can put a comment in if you want, but it's totally fine to leave that blank. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Now what? Um, just set uh, O for OK. And we can go on. Um, and there's okay. a way to change all these settings later as well if you want to go through um, that okay. as well. Now, now this popped up a, sent a thing called a passphrase. Let me show you. It, pop it popped up a little window in here. Yeah. So, and, so, so and this window so, says passphrase. Yeah. Mm. Um, this is this is how you're going to protect your your um, key. Um, mm -hmm. If you don't want to enter a password the whole time or set up Git Credential Manager, you can just OK it. Then it, there won't be need for passwords to be put in. OK. Uh, yeah. Uh, yes, protection is not needed. So when this happens, it will basically say, hey, I don't need that kind of prediction, protection every time. So I'm going to just say protection is not needed here. OK. Now what? Now it says, now it popped up again, the enter uh, pass phrase. Yeah, just say not required, just OK and not required. I think it's just want to make sure that you've made the right decision. Oh, so it's doing it twice just to make sure you're yeah. not crazy, <laughs> which we are. But OK, so it generated something for me here. Now what? Yeah. Um, so that that's now fully generated. Uh -huh. um, so what we want to do next is we want to um, go list the, uh, um, the keys. Hmm. List so keys. If, yeah. So if you type in GPG dash uh, space dash dash uh, list. list dash secret dash keys like this yeah and then space oh sorry, space I'm... sorry yeah uh -huh. um dash dash key id like this yeah and dash format equals long dash space dash format uh, no, no, it's, uh, no space yeah equals Equal long. long yeah so okay. that that shows you the detail of um 
the, the key what was generated. So if we look at that first line under the, the dashes, it says second and the encryption and then uh, that um, number after the dash is basically your um, key ID that we, we're going to need. So if you copy that, so that's this... from, 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 from 9C58. The after that, here. Yeah, yeah, all the way up here. Okay, yeah, with, without the forward slash. Okay, I copied it. Um, I have it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what we're going to do then is we're going to type in uh, GPG space. Oh, hold, uh, oh, GPG space. Uh -huh. Dash dash armor. Dash dash what? Armor. I oh. oh, armor. I, yeah, gotcha. Sorry, accent. <laughs> <laughs> Go yeah. ahead. Go ahead. Uh -huh. Space um, dash dash export. Uh, space and then you, if you paste that key in. So gotcha. it should be, uh, no no quotes, without, just okay. nine C. Okay, let's see what did it do here. Uh, let's see, copy, paste. Why is it doing that? Hold well on. Oh boy. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's done it. But I don't know. I don't know if it really like. Uh, did it actually? I don't think it passed the key. And okay, yeah, we we'll need to do that again. We should then. try. We should try it again. Okay, let's see. Let me just copy this guy here, and then do clear. Actually, let me do this first, and then uh, let me do this. So GPG dash dash armor dash dash export. And what does that do, Chris? This, that's this... gonna export the certificate for you and we're going to put that in github awesome here you go so now boom it generated it now do i just copy that yeah so we copy uh, the whole um certificate Damn. block from from the start to the end does that include also the dashes like the begin and end or without yes. the begin and end? It, okay it, got it, it. it's copying from the beginning of the um the begin up to the including those dashes up to the ends dashes Fantastic. Okay, let's go to GitHub. Here we go. And then let's go to GitHub like this. And then what? What do I do now? If you click on your um, profile icon, the right at the bottom is settings. Uh -huh. And then on the left hand side, it says uh, SSH and GPG keys. If you click yep. on that, yep. um, just say add a new GPG key on the bottom. There you go. Um, stick that in, give it a name. Uh, super Just like... secret. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. And yeah, that's it. Oh, look at that. Okay. So now if I push code from this machine that I'm in, it, it will look that it's verified. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. There's, there's one more step that we need to do. Yeah. Um, so if you, if you open up, uh, so if we've added that now, um, mm -hmm. and if you open up git bash again, let's go to get bash again. Here we go. If you type in git space config space. Like this, dash dash config. Yeah, and uh -huh. then dash dash global space commit dot gpg sign. Like this? Yeah, um, space true. So that's meaning sign every commit that I'm pushing, right? Yeah, so, so this basically adds your uh, global configuration file for git so um all, all all commits over all your repositories will will be signed by this key nice. um, if you don't want to do this you can still edit the uh, git file under each repo and undo the same thing okay so i think is it dash dash config dash config maybe is it dash dash config or dash config uh it's uh git space config no 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 dashes yeah that's it. That's it. Got it. Boom. Done. Should yeah. we try it? Let's try it. Yeah. Okay. Now, if if it doesn't work, there's another uh -huh. step that we can do. Um, according to the documentation, this should be enough. Uh, um, let's see. But it, it didn't work for me, so I had to do a bit of a manual workaround. Sounds good. Let's try it. Uh, so I can do. Here you go. Ls. CD restful sense. So git pull. I know there's okay, git checkout dash b users Hassan Habib. Um, I don't know. Uh, 
uh, demo POC delete me okay and then I need to change something so explore open up the thing and then I don't know maybe in the readme I'll change something so this is just random stuff that I'm doing here uh, to just kind of uh, resemble you know what's what's actually happening and let's see if it's true or not I <laughs> let's see if it's true or not <laughs> it's it's definitely gonna be true I just want to show people the uh, you know the depth of this this is really sweet this is really really sweet um, opening it in Visual Studio just changing something um, yeah just like an extra space or something like that so now I can go back here and say get status get add get commit dash m and then puc remove extra line get push origin users puc delete me right so now if i go into the commit that i have here Restful since and what did I not push anything? Hold on, get status, get uh, commit GPG skipped. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We have a little error here. Check this out. So, look what it said here it said uh, GPG skipped, no secret key, signing failed. Ah, now you've got the same issue that I had. So what um, did you do? So if if you, if you open up your your profile under Windows, my profile on Windows. Yeah. So so if you go to C users, um, whatever your username is. is uh, okay. C users yeah. Asan. Uh huh. And then there should be a file called dot uh, git config dot git config yeah that guy right yeah, here yeah so mm -hmm. so so if you open up that in notepad or uh, notepad plus plus whatever yeah let's see here so this just once uh-huh yep i see that here so you should see a new section at the top for users and commit ah so right at the top you can uh -huh. see under users, there's only a name and email specified. Yeah. So, so we said in our last command, use um, the GPG key and, and sign in everything, but this is now unaware of the key. So if you add a new line under email. Under uh, email, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and that'll be signing key equals, um, and then the, the, the value the ID. of the, the, yeah, the one that we copied in, in Git Bash earlier. This guy? Um, yeah like this okay does that do it that should do it if you save that and um okay save. Another commit. let's do it uh let's do this okay here we go get commit Ooh, it's working get push origin so let's see here let's go back here uh this is get so now if this actually works it should show the commit sign oh ho, ho, look at that cristo yeah. you made it and this is the gpgk that we generated yeah oh man that's beautiful look at that <laughs> so now it, it it's saying this is really you this is really yeah. that particular individual that says that they are who they say they are yeah um and uh, GitHub supports multiple keys, so you can generate multiple keys. Um, if you don't want to work with multiple keys and you work on, say, a, a, a desktop at home and a laptop at work or something like that, you can still export your keys if you want to take the same key over. So there's a lot of things that you can do. Nice. And if you did add a um, password to your um, key when you generated it, you can automate that process by uh, caching your password and Git Credential Manager as well. Oh man, but, that's beautiful. But at, at least your stuff is signed up so to the this point. Okay, so the passphrase is when you're on a maybe a public machine or you know you're working on something super duper secret, and even if your computer got breached, 
you know, you, they still have to know the passphrase. Yeah, it got a bit annoying for me because on every commit, it prompts you for that if you don't store it in your Git Credential Manager. So, I know, I know, um, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> and uh, I couldn't get the Git Credential Manager um, to, to remember my thing successfully, so I gave up in the end. But uh, yeah, I should give that a, another go at some point. Christo, this is fantastic. This is it because this basically it's important that you know you have verify verification that the people that are committing because again back back to what i was talking about anybody can pretend to be you they can put your email and they put your name and they commit and github won't know any better it will basically say oh yeah that's you know that's christo and it will even show the you know the the profile picture it will show everything right which is the interesting part about this is that unless you are verified, unless you make sure that so the so GPG, that's GNU pretty good encryption. Is that what what it stands for? Something like that. You've got me there. <laughs> <laughs> I looked up a while ago, but I can't remember what that was. I'm I'm very certain it's a pretty good something, right? So PGP key meaning. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. GNU Privacy Guard. Yeah. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. Mm -hmm. I think I think PGP was first, and then GPG replaced that, or something like that. Yep. So there's Open PGP, which is pretty good privacy. <laughs> and then yeah. and then uh, I I guess Stallman kind of came in and basically said, no, we want to do GNU Privacy Guard. So the, it's he always goes the opposite, like copy left. Like people say copy mm -hmm. right, he'll say copy left. So this is pretty good privacy. And on his side, he's calling it GNU Privacy Guard, GPG. Interesting. Mm. Now, the real question here is, is if you do it the, the way Stallman does it, does that mean that everything that you use that uses GPG has to be also free software, you know, open source <laughs> uh, available? Question for the world, right? But uh, I, think, I think that really wraps it up. And, you know, I don't know if you have any other advice you know, first of all, thank you so much for this. You know, just just for the people watching, I'm not I'm not pretending that I don't know this. I actually don't know this. You know, it, like Christo genuinely is helping me. You know, kind of have my account verified, but also at the same time, you know, why should I have all the fun when we can kind of broadcast and publish this so other people can do it as well? What else do you have for us, Sensei? <laughs> what else do you have for us? <laughs> no, nothing else tonight. I I think that's that's it. Um... Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much for doing this. See, now my brain is going and saying, OK, for people that just use Visual Studio or use a tool to kind of commit their code and all that good stuff, how do I simplify this? How do I kind of add in maybe a Visual Studio extension that basically pops up like a like a window that pops up and it asks them to do things and say verify and they click the button? Boom, you have yourself a Visual Studio extension that does that for because no nobody's gonna remember all these commands. They're gonna have to go back to this video. That's why we're recording it. Yeah. But but more importantly, imagine if it's just a, a really a really very easy, simple process that that we can do on the fly. Maybe yeah. you, you know, we have um, we have we have ten thousand ideas for ten thousand things to do. Yeah. Go ahead. Oh yeah, uh, yeah I, uh, what I mentioned earlier as well, that uh Git config file that, that we edited globally also sits on every every um, repo. So if you did want to use a different key, you can just go into the repo specific settings and uh, change that key ID if you had to sign something with her. Yeah, because you made it global with yeah. with this, but you can make it more specific. Yeah, yeah. and and but that's by the mm -hmm. go ahead. So for instance, you you you're working on something corporate and they've got a specific requirement in terms of the number of bytes. We use yep. the maximum, but say it's different to what you've used, um, or you needed to use a, a, a company certificate, then, then yep. you can overwrite your repos if you're using the same machine for, for private stuff and work stuff. Yep. So yeah, I was just going to say, like, if you want to switch between, like, if you are in one repository, you know, doing work stuff, so you are committing in your work email, and then you want to switch back without having to have two machines or anything like that, that would come in very, very, very handy. I love it. I love it. Christo, thank you so very much for teaching us this today. I appreciate you. And uh, I can't wait to kind of put it out there, give give people kind of the chance to do this. And now that this video out, I'm going to give the standard community like a week to kind of get their stuff in order. And then I'm going to put enforce 
you know, the rule. Nobody can commit <laughs> unless they're verified. Because if I don't know you, I don't know you. Like, you know, you could be a contributor on the project. So you're pushing code straight to that project. But in reality, you're an impersonator. You're a Trojan horse or something like that. Um, yeah. I will do it on our um, proper libraries. We don't want the newcomers to be blocked from getting into it. <laughs> <laughs> maybe maybe we'll start doing it on uh, restful sense open ai we'll do a slow rollout yeah like mandate verification by the way i also discovered that github gives you repository templates so i don't have to create all these rules every single time you just pull out the template and it has all these rules set up already if you're starting a new project i think that's pretty pretty neat yeah that's very nice yeah Okay, my dear brother, thank you so very much for taking a little bit of time of your day. I know it's a weekend and uh, for also always willing to help us and, and, and educate the community and also all the contributions I've been doing in exceptions, restful sense and beyond. I appreciate you for that. And of course, for the people watching, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please feel free to drop a comment in the comment section. Follow Cristo on GitHub. You know, he's always working on something very interesting. Uh, whether it's standard community, just trying to kind of think about an idea or anything else. Uh, thank you all for your time today. And as usual, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you later. Thank you. Bye-bye.